I have to give credit where credit is due, and that credit belongs to Mike McCagnan and the New York Jets. This guy, Le'Veon Bell, pretty much sat out last year for absolutely nothing. Um, Le'Veon Bell making, like I believe, $13 million over a four-year span, um, exactly the same as Earl Thomas, who's 30 years old, exactly the same as the Honey Badger as Landon Collins. Le'Veon Bell is an impact player. He's one of the best running backs in the NFL. You only get him for four years up until he's 30 years old. And then, you know, he's still going to be good when he's 28, 29. If knock on wood, the uh, knock on wood, Le'Veon Bell can stay healthy. Now, I know that Le'Veon Bell, he does have interests outside of the game, like the rap album. And he's definitely all about himself with the dramatic, you know, 12, 12 o'clock midnight uh, signing. The guy is definitely an ego personality uh, that didn't want to play in Pittsburgh and that that was concerned about himself and I guess that that's fine that's fine um for Le'Veon I get that he wanted to do that I I get his individual freedoms as as a great NFL player and athlete you know to go out and make that money and make that dough um but but I think for the New York Jets that this was a hell of an offer um, because I think the market tanked on Le'Veon Bell. I don't know why he didn't just play in Pittsburgh, could have won a championship there. We, I think that, yeah, last year, I think he wasted a great career that he could have had playing football with his uh, with his teammates in Pittsburgh. I think it could have been a special team that, that made the playoffs and gave New England a, another run at it. So Le'Veon's going to the Jets now. The Jets made out, they, they had a great deal. In this vacuum, the Jets had a home run deal, signing the guy for $13 million. I thought the New York Jets were going to literally sign the guy for $18, $19 million. I thought the deal, I was stunned at the number. Stunned at the number. This is an absolute home run deal for the New York Jets. It gives excitement for this organization. This running back is so patient, Le'Veon Bell. I love the way that he plays football. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, um, it's just about like now we're going to get to see his personality in the New York spotlight and see if he can get along with his teammates. And and there's a decent chance he will. He just wanted money. Running back in the NFL, um, let's admit it, guys. It's a very hard, um, it's, it's, it's a tough business. For running backs, meaning that it's structured so that the rookie contract, you're not going to get as much in year one through four or year one through five, but that's a running back's prime is literally the first five years before he hits 27, 28. Look at Spencer Ware, look at Sean Alexander, a perfect example of a running back uh, that was so successful. Willie Parker, guys that just emerge and then literally uh, disappear. There, there's plenty of running backs that emerge and have to Peyton Hillis have like these one or two year really successful runs and then they just fall off and they lose that step and their careers are their, their careers are done and injuries totally totally happen so Le'Veon Bell this contract guys is uh is four years 52 and a half so let me do a quick calculation 52 divided by four So 52 divided by four, I don't even care if you give them all guaranteed, it's cheaper than than the Earl Thomas deal. That's how amazing this deal is. And who would you rather have if you're the Baltimore Ravens or anybody, an elite level running back uh, in Le'Veon Bell, who's literally, I think Le'Veon Bell is going to be one of the best running backs in the sport of football. There's no reason he shouldn't. He's patient. He also didn't have to play last year, so you can make an argument that his talents weren't wasted. This guy is the best patience and vision in a running back that we've that we've seen um, pretty much uh, in since I've been watching football for 24 years. This guy is one of the best. I, I mean, he's been dominating the NFL for like three or four seasons. He's really good at catching out of the backfield. And the guy is a special back in terms of he'll never rush to the line of scrimmage. He'll always sit back. What Le'Veon will do is he'll sit back, literally pause in the, in the um, he'll pause before he gets to the line of scrimmage. And then he's decisive, and, and, he, and, he, and he usually hits the correct read. The guy, there's never really been a running back that stuttered as much as he does, and that literally, and that is as patient as he is. I'm sorry I'm saying that word too much, literally. But Le'Veon Bell is one of the most patient backs in the NFL. The New York Jets, I thought this deal would, would be, I thought this deal would be $55 million. I thought this deal would be it, three years, 55. I thought this deal would be four years, 75, four years, 80. I thought Le'Veon Bell, because everybody in this free agent period has been, the safeties have been getting huge, huge contracts. Um, Crowder 
is making nine million dollars for for a wide receiver Saffold's making 11 you're paying Le'Veon Bell only two million dollars and the Bills are paying Mitch Morse and Le'Veon Bell as a running back changes games in ways that offensive linemen you need them but this guy individually changes games you're paying him only two million dollars in Mitch Morse uh but by looking at this looking at this contract Landon Collins who would you rather have Landon or Le'Veon freaking Bell the best running back one of the best weapons in all of football the New York Jets win they hold out they play hard negotiation I mean I know I disagree with a lot of what the Jets do but CJ Mosley and now Le'Veon Bell, it's been a tremendous, tremendous offseason for the Jets. It, the, these players are actually going to be really good for the Jets. <laughs> these players are going to be good. Now, how will Le'Veon get along with Darnold? How will he get along with Adam Gase? How will the personalities of Le'Veon and Darnold uh, interact? We don't know how effective Le'Veon's going to be. This offensive line is still not that great. We still don't know about Sam Darnold. Uh, C.J. Mosley's making so much money. He might just be good, not amazing. So the Jets could still very well. I still think the Jets will probably be 7-9. and nine, You know, I, I still have to admit, sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Jets fans. I have to put on Rover hat here and, uh, you know. But, all right, enough. Enough bad news. Enough bear of bad news. Um freaking enjoy it freaking enjoy the signing but overall the Jets offense will be decent they are going to win more games um we'll see if they make the playoffs though it depends on Gase Greg Williams chemistry McCagnan Chris Johnson the higher-ups everybody getting together it really depends on Adam Gase who really hasn't done anything in his career thus far and ter- only to be Peyton Manning's uh you know water bottle kid water boy um, in Denver. So it's up to Gase to prove me wrong. Congrats, Jets fans. Y'all, y'all hit big. Congrats.